inner ear is harder to understand than any other part of the body. That was such a challenge that I left it out when I first made the atlas. I just couldn't see how I could do it. About three years ago, I was challenged by a colleague to do the inner ear, and it actually took me two years to do. First, to understand this intricate, hidden structure for myself, and then to find ways of dissecting it and presenting it in video. There's not a single book that shows it in a way that lets you get a three-dimensional understanding of it. That's because the structures of the inner ear are intricately and strangely shaped. They're very small, they're very delicate, they're encased in rock-hard bone, and illustrators have struggled over two centuries to try to produce meaningful two-dimensional images of this very, very three-dimensional structure. Students themselves can't dissect it in a meaningful way. And I have to say many teachers have, have struggled to understand it themselves. The dissection has to be done with a high-speed micro drill, and this makes a lot of mess. Dust gets everywhere. It gets in your way as you're dissecting, and it gets in the way of the finished picture. The only way to do a clean dissection and present it to the camera was to do the work underwater so the dust is carried away and so the delicate structures don't collapse as they would be if they were out in the air. I had to create a water tank environment to accommodate the specimen and my instruments. I viewed the work and filmed it through a little circular porthole on top of the water like a little glass bottom boat. The video images that I created of the inner ear really let students see the structures three-dimensionally for the first time. Basically, I, I would like to see the inner ear and its anatomy back on the curriculum um, rather than being shuffled off in the, into the sidelines because it's been so difficult and so time-consuming. I think the videos will be extremely useful for teachers and students in the field of speech and hearing and audiology, and I believe they'll also be very helpful for patient education in, in doctor's offices. I've shown the inner ear to many students now and to many teachers, and their response every time has been, now I get it. As a teacher myself, that's really the greatest reward I could possibly wish for.